Good morning my friends and welcome back to my den where we're going to share another shave. Today's shave is brought to you by Sterling Hipster. I think this came in our uh, second anniversary kit. Uh, it's a nice soap. I don't can't really identify what it is. It seems like a barbershop derivative kind of a kind of a test, fragrance. It's nice, and you can't you can't go wrong really with st Sterling as far as performance goes. We're using uh, my Oz shaving silver snow brush, and uh, we'll be shaving with the Game Changer 0.84 with a Voskhod blade. Voskhod or Voskhod? I don't know. It's Monday, had a very active weekend. Some of the restaurants are opening up and we went uh, with uh, some friends to a barbecue joint up around the corner. And, uh, and we had uh, my son's birthday, we visited the uh, Grand Dog, it's a great Pyrenees, it's son of a gun. Last time I saw him he was still a pup and he's, that's a big boy, that's a lot of dog. They feed a family of five for like months, I think, because he's gotten really wide. I don't know if, as a breed, the dog is supposed to be, you know, have huge amounts of breath, but this dog does. But he's lazy, so if we did decide to eat him, he he would be easy to, to chase down. <laughs> Daughter-in-law didn't like, uh, didn't care much for my thoughts of how long, how much meat we could get out of him, but that's okay. You got huge brown eyes that just kind of stare at you. He's a very low energy dog, doesn't move fast, like I said. And uh, once he figures you're not a threat to him and he thinks you're not going to eat him, then he just goes over and lays down. And he's only two and a half years old, so. Basically a good dog, just way bigger than he ought to be. And then yesterday for church, we had our first drive-in movie kind of a thing. We got a low-power FM transmitter, and we all sat in the park, our cars in the parking lot, and did everything outside. That was kind of neat. That's pretty much how the weekend went. I was able to get all both cars in the garage. I'm very pretty pleased with myself there. And uh Good time hanging out with the old guys on Zoom last night. That was kind of kind of neat. I kind of identify with the old guys.
Okay, now that we got that taken care of, somebody that I don't know calls me. You say hello and there's nobody on the other side. I hate that. Hope they do something about that because I that could be dangerous on the freeway you're driving or something and start getting spammed with calls. I don't think that should be I should be discouraged. I haven't used this razor for a while, and I don't really have a good excuse why I didn't. I think it's because I had an influx of new shinies. And this one is still not really not shiny yet, it's still shiny, and it does do a beautiful job. I think they'd uh, I'm glad they still make them. Well, that's three passes. We'll see how we feel. Post uh, post pass feel or uh, slickness is pretty good, as is always is with rod soaps. I can feel myself up here. There. See what the alum has to say. Oh yeah. Nothing wrong with that. We'll take that. A little shot of witch hazel which is going to help because I suddenly developed a zit right on my nose directly under where my nose piece for my eyeglasses sit I'm not liking that much I'm too old to be getting zits Little witch hazel take care of that. Because the glasses sit right on it. Now, I don't have a very big nose, so there's no place extra to put the glasses. So the hipster, I'll see how the. I haven't used very much of it. It's still clear up to the full, so I must have. Only use the soap only one or two times and then put it away. That's a sure sign that I'm starting to accumulate maybe a couple too many. Too many soaps. I have to. I found out my daughter in law uh, uses a DE to shave her legs and whatnot. So maybe I'll donate a bunch of soaps to her cause. And maybe a razor that she can teach my son how to use a brush because she uses the brush and the bowl and everything. I was really surprised. He was, she was showing us the, uh, yeah, I guess that works. I can put the foot behind there so then I have a bump and then my glasses won't slip down off my face. Uh, What was I going to tell you? Must not have been real important. Today's shave once again was brought to you by Sterling's Hipster with the matching aftershave. Um, 
I'm used to auto shaving silver snow with the cashmere uh, bristles. The start of the show today was uh, the uh, Razor Rock Game Changer 0.84 with the Bosch God uh, blade. I'm not sure how many shaves are on it. It's been in its little carrying case there for a while. All forlorn wanting to be used. Uh, it's beginning with a new week. Let's get out there and give her hell. I'm Major Rich. We'll find us uh, on the shavingcadre.com. If you're finding me on YouTube, like and subscribe. And we will see you next time. Bye bye.